Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about a gritty tale of a wittier gangster who put his hood on the FBI's top 10 most wanted fugitive list and what he did to make it on such a prestigious list. The wittier gangster responsible is E. McDeal Preciado Jr. Born on August 19, 1969, E. McDeal is a member of the Southside Whittier Gang who operates in the Whittier community outside of LA. E. McDeal went by the monikers Trigger, Spooky, and Sniper. Preciado is a career criminal who has been arrested for a 1992 murder, robbery, grand theft, and receipt of stolen property. He has been convicted of narcotics and firearm violations. The date of the infamous crime that turned E. McDeal into a most wanted fugitive had gone down like this. On September 5th, 2000, E. McDeal had been pulled over on Gun Avenue north of Mulberry Drive in the county area of Whittier. L.A. County Sheriff Deputy Michael Schapp and Deputy David Timberlake tried to pull over a 1979 Chevrolet van for a burned out headlight when Preciado allegedly fired at the two with an AK-47 assault rifle. Preciado fired 21 rounds from an assault rifle, striking Shap in the head. Shap suffered brain damage in the attack, but continued to work with the Sheriff's Department. He's had to relearn to walk and talk. Timberlake escaped injury. Detective said Preciado was wanted for violating parole. They believed he didn't want to return to prison. However, E. McDeal was not alone. He was accompanied by three other fellow Southside Whittier gang members. Carlos Albert Gutierrez, Jose Leonchi Guardado, and Omar Jimenez were arrested, charged, and convicted of the shooting. Investigators also think the four men in the van were on their way to commit a drive-by shooting. The three other suspects were later caught, but Preciado fled to Mexico. During the search of Preciado, investigators were confident of his whereabouts when a video surfaced in 2000 of Preciado dancing at a party in Tepuz, Huacan, Mexico. Billboards featuring Preciado's wanted poster were put up in Whittier and on the border between San Diego and Tijuana soliciting tips. The case was also featured on the America's Most Wanted television show. Preciado, who was an American citizen, was on the FBI's top 10 most wanted fugitives list when he was caught by Mexican authorities on July 17, 2009 in Coral Piedras, a rural area near Yagos in the state of Nayarit, Mexico. Preciado had been on the run for about nine years. The last nine years, while he was on the run, FBI officials said he was using the name Regalo Castaneda and working as a fisherman. Preciado was extradited to the U.S. and handed over to FBI agents at the border in Brownsville, Texas. Preciado was flown to Los Angeles International Airport under the FBI escort in the afternoon. There, he was handed over to sheriff's detectives. In July 2011, Preciado accepted a plea agreement and was immediately sentenced to 25 years to life in prison. During what was scheduled to be a preliminary hearing leading up to a trial, Preciado pleaded guilty to two counts of assault with a deadly weapon on peace officers as well as the special allegation of using a firearm in a felony. Southside Whittier gang member E. McDeal Preciado Jr. was sentenced to and is currently serving a 25 year to life prison sentence. The former FBI top 10 most wanted fugitive will need to serve at least 85% of the sentence before being eligible for parole, meaning the earliest he can hope to be paroled is in 2032.